Hello and welcome. So today's topic is about fascias of neck. In neck, we are getting two kinds of fascia. First of all, superficial and there is deep. Superficial fascia is formed by the skin, subcutaneous tissue and platysma muscle. And the deep fascia has basically five layers. First of all, you're going to find superficial layer. Then you're going to find muscular layer. Then you're going to find visceral layer. This visceral layer is basically two part. One is pretracheal layer and there is buccopharyngeal layer. Then you're going to find prevertebral layer. And lastly, you're going to find LR fascia or LR layer. First of all, superficial layer, as you can see in this photo. It is also known as investing layer. Okay. In this video, I will talk about only important points, not everything in details. So if you want to know about in details, you have to study textbooks. Okay. Now, two muscles invested in this layer. First of all, sternocleidomastoid muscle and there is trapezius muscle. Two ligaments are present in this uh, superficial layer or investing layer. First of all, sphenomandibular ligament and there is stylomandibular ligament. Now, this superficial layer or this investing layer encloses or covers two spaces in our neck. First of all, suprasternal space of burn and supraclavicular space. Now, suprasternal space of burn is say another area which contains sternal head of sternocleidomastoid muscle, then internal arch of jugular vein, and also interclavicular ligament. I mean the clavicle in between two, sorry, uh, the ligament in between two clavicle. Okay, and the supraclavicular space contains terminal part of the external jugular vein or the end point of the external jugular vein along with the supraclavicular nerve. That's it. And secondly, this muscular layer is formed by only infrahyoid group of muscles. What are infrahyoid group of muscles? I already talked about this in my earlier videos. You can check those videos. Next is our visceral layer. As I told you, it has two parts. One is pretracheal layer, another is buccopharyngeal layer. First of all, pretracheal layer. Only important points, okay? Now, this layer splits and then closes or covers the thyroid gland then trachea and then esophagus as you can see in this photo now while covering this thyroid gland this pretracheal layer it forms a various ligament in the posterior part of the thyroid gland now one part or the one end of this various ligament attaches with the posterior part of the thyroid gland and another end attaches with the cricoid cartilage okay that's why when we deglute or swallow anything at that point our cricoid cartilage moves upward downward okay along with this cartilage thyroid glands also moves upward downward the various ligament is ultimately formed by the pretracheal layer you understand now the buccopharyngeal fascia so it is basically a continuation part of the pretracheal layer posterior to the esophagus okay now this buccopharyngeal fascia or the buccopharyngeal layer it covers the superior constrictor muscles only that's it now while i am seeing these uh, pretracheal layer buccopharyngeal layer superficial or the investing layer this is our separate kind of fascia all these layers i mean all of these fascia are actually part of deep fascia of neck okay and now our prevertebral layer or prevertebral fascia it actually encloses the vertebral muscle i mean the muscles present in the cervical vertebra okay it forms the floor of this posterior triangle along with the it continues as a axillary sheet or axillary sheath okay and now the alar fascia or the alar layer it presents in between the prevertebral layer and the visceral layer okay now it is bounded by superiorly c1 vertebra i mean the first cervical vertebra and inferiorly t2 vertebra or the second thoracic vertebra each side it is guarded by or bounded by the carotid sheath okay and anteriorly posteriorly you know about the visceral layer and the prevertebral layer that's it this fascia is only related with the retropharyngeal space now one extra additional knowledge point for you is our carotid sheath what is this it is actually a covering which is formed by all the layers of this deep fascia of neck what i already talked about the five layers of this fascia all this layer helps to form this carotid sheath anteriorly it is related with the ansa cervicalis and posteriorly it is related with the cervical sympathetic chain now this carotid sheath covers the internal jugular vein 
internal carotid artery then common carotid artery then it also covers the 9 10 11 12 cranial nerves along with the cervical sympathetic chain so this is all about the fascia of neck along with the extra content carotid sheath i hope you little bit understand see you soon till then bye